There is a, there's a relationship between the world oil prices, a direct relationship between the world oil prices and the prices in Belize. If the world prices go up, there's usually a lag, maybe two or three weeks, then we see it going up. If it goes down, similarly, there's a bit of a lag because it depends on the shipments we, and the timing, but it moves in, it moves in, not completely in lockstep, but it moves in the same direction. So, so there was a spike in oil prices maybe about two months ago. There was uncertainties, um, supply, Iran, uh, things going on there. The prices shot up. We felt it, albeit with a lag. More recently, prices have stabilized. Saudi Arabia has talked about increasing production, and therefore, we are seeing a dip in the prices here, but not completely rolled back to where there were, let us say, a, a year ago. Huh? The, your understanding that those two countries are currently only discussing it and it's that discussion that's driven down prices or they haven't begun an increased production yet? Well, anything that takes the nervousness out of the market will stabilize prices. So if a member of OPEC announces that they intend to increase production, that would take the nervousness out of the market, stabilize the prices, and once the production really goes up, then you see the price go down. No? But a lot of it is people buy futures. I don't understand the oil market myself, but a lot of it is, is speculation and confidence and what they, they try to glean from any statement an OPEC member may make or the US may make, Russia may make, and then the oil market responds accordingly.